Um, assuming domestic United States, probably um, helping to clarify the lines. Well, I know exactly what it is. I'm sorry. It would be a, a revision to the intellectual property code in the United States. Specifically, uh, there have been ongoing extensions to copyright, uh, which have made it real possible, really difficult for people to remix things that have, in effect, dropped into the public domain. So. I'd urge them to go to the EFF.org and read Lessing's papers on the issues associated with that. Uh, and likewise, uh, software patent reform. Um, the current regime actually significantly will, it does and significantly will discourage uh, the creation of software uh, to advance you know, human causes. Um, it would be what I've dedicated my career to, and that is um, the improvement of relationships between men. Uh, I see uh, the current computing environment, internet, being a really good example of, as being a great way to facilitate communications between people, to resolve issues, to, to uh, uh, perform commerce, and to generally do good works. I guess my biggest fear is that the human equation will be lost in uh, you know, the technological discussion, that sometimes it's easier to talk about the technical problems because they seem to be solvable, uh, when in fact the human problems, the political problems, uh, tend to get swept under the rug or get accentuated in the press. Um, probably the ubiquitous distribution of technology that uh, in the West and, and, and some places in the East like Taiwan and Japan, uh, technology has uh, really rapidly deployed, uh, mobile technology specifically. Uh, America's actually behind uh, some Asian companies in, or countries in, uh, in uh, technological deployment, but there are lots of countries and lots of areas where they're much further behind. Uh, and rich communications tools specifically, like cell phones and broad deployment across the world could have a fundamental effect on uh, you know, improving freedom across the world. So it's not a new technology, it's more a... It, yeah, it's the trickle down. Uh, you know, we really look forward to uh, improved communications access for everyone, improved computing access for everyone. Uh, and some of that will come through technological improvements uh, to bring the prices down and the like, but some will come for political reform and, and other areas. I, I, th I think it's going to be that when computing becomes a part of your everyday interaction, so when your cell phone device becomes more PDA-ish, um, and now you have access to everything. We're seeing, that, like I said, the high-end uh, you know, people with large amounts of income or corporate support are seeing those benefits now. I mean, just think of BlackBerry and the Trio and, and the effect they have compared to just even single, simple cell phones um, as those things combine. I mean, there's so much, so many interesting uh, challenges, uh, you know, when cell phones got cameras in just the last couple of years, but fundamental changes and things like going to a concert, they talk about this is part of the, uh, it, it, technology is out advancing uh, policy changes, and, and I expect that to continue. Um, and, you know, people in, are trying to catch up. I don't know if you've been to a, uh, a, a store lately, but there's now signs on cash registers to say no cell phone conversations. And what we're talking about is when people walk up to buy something, we, we have to retrain people that that's rude to the to the person who's trying to take your cash uh, because you're not giving them full attention. So. I think, I think the, the biggest changes that are coming are social as a result of technology and as, as technology gets, as we all have information with us and not just communications, uh, we'll, we'll continue to evolve that way. Mm, connected.